tonight. It's Madden NFL football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Taking on Baker Mayfield and the New Orleans Saints. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. will be the top pick in the 2018 draft, and that's Baker Mayfield. It was so interesting in the run-up to the draft to talk with different scouts. I got one to tell me that in his notes, he wrote down, Mayfield, brash, happy-go-lucky, plays the same way, barely restrained improv act that frustrates opponents and sometimes his own coaches, but produces plenty of highlights. What do you think of that? First carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And that's how you get started and open up a game. A really well-blocked play. Picked up a nice chunk of yardage. If you're the offensive line, that's exactly what you've talked about all week long in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control. And they gave their running back plenty of room to rumble. down Mayfield pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield a loss of five yards and we say it all the time have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that you have to help your offensive line out they're going to protect you as best they can and if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball they're doing a really nice job but when you hold it and give up a sack you're really almost discrediting their work to a quick second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield. And he's going to go down again. Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them. That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Need 
need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And he'll get this one underneath to Camaro. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Well, get 15, but that won't be nearly enough. It's fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain. Still a place to go, though. Here comes the Saints punter now. As the first drive of the game stalls out, he's on to punt. Oh, fighting off the defender. And they can't corral him. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by the number one overall pick in the 2019 draft from Oklahoma. It's Kyler Murray. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, so, not, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. Number 45. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of nine. Bring play fake. Murray. At the 37. They'll get this to Ward. And he's going to get this down at the 35 yard line. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense. Find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A gain of nine brings up second and one. Throwing now is Murray. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McLaughlin. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the Saints 17-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down right around the 16. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Brings up third down and nine. Throwing is Murray on third down. That's complete to Ward. And they corral him just a couple of yards shy of the end zone. The second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. But he did everything but get him in the end zone there, but now they're set up. Golden opportunity, strong opening drive, and they're knocking on the door. And the way that they did it, now look where they are on the field, all right? This is naturally set up for a running play, isn't it? But with his ability to throw the football, his accuracy on this drive, you might want to think about a pass play in this situation. Mm, interesting. Time to find out. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Oh, Remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The extra point attempt to come here. And it's good to make it seven to nothing. So that drive goes eight plays. And it's culminated by a two yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. 
Here's Carter now on the return. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And they run the option on second down. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 40 yard From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. They'll find his tight end, it's Adam Troutman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now after the completion, we're gonna get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. They're gonna go with a tight end here on the running play. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. formation here defensively. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Whitaker. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter and we're tied 7-7. Seven now as they kick it away. Taking in at the three. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shot of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. 
On first and ten, here's Murray. Over the middle, completes this to Ward. And they get him down, but now before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Murray now on first down. And he fires one incomplete. Murray's pass. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. It leads to second and 10. Throwing again. Murray. Murray fighting. Lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he's into the end zone. A fumble return. And a Saint touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Down and 10 at their own 24-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. <laughs> now they try the right side here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. He's tackled at the... Right, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. Four yards, the pickup, first down. First and ten at the 38-yard line. Shotgun now for Murray. Rolling to his right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. a second and two after that last catch good for eight yards here's Murray as he sets to throw it and this one's incomplete so third and two this quite possibly four down territory though if they're stopped first by him near the 35 and he's going to get this inside the 30 a nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Murray now on first down. where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Back to the air on second down, it's Murray. 
And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. from the nine on second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Now Murray. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. To number 43. No gain on the play. Brings up third and goal. From the gun, Murray. He can run for it, and he will. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rounding, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Their own 28-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Alvin Camaro, the ball carrier, brought down at the 30-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. On second down, Camara. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38 yard line. Camara, that's good for us. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and they add a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And down right around the 37. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. What did you see there on the defensive side? What allowed that good size run? Well, they're in a cover two alignment, which means your two safeties are back away from the line of scrimmage. So if you can match up your blocking at the line, at the point of attack, there's usually some room, a big gap between that second level and third, and that's what they were able to exploit. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. They'll try to throw here. Mayfield, oh, he can't hang on. It was a dream chance for any D lineman to possibly get a pick, but instead it falls down incomplete. Second and 10. On second down, Mayfield again. He'll get this to his tight end, Trump. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 22 yards there, first down. Nice 
job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Here's Kamara off the draw. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Now Kamara. And power running here down to the six-yard line. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On third and one is Mayfield. The quick slant caught. And the Saints are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun, Mayfield. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here, right at the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not all now joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. Yeah, maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Throwing on second and eight. Murray. And now he'll tuck it in run. Eight yards that time. Able to take off, and the result is a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Looking for his running back and he's got him. Hurry's pass. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. Here it's third and two. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. Just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open 
downfield can really generate big plays for an offense. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Here's Murray, a quick throw complete. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and ten. Murray to air it out again. Over the middle, complete. That's Ward. Murray, he'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. A gain of nine brings up third and two. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Now the way down inside the five to the four. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. To throw, it's Murray. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. <laughs> Davis from the top row. <laughs> I like it. Extra point attempt to follow here. Got it to make this a 21-17 game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. Here's Carter now on the return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. At their own 28-yard line. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking. A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. A pass there over the middle to start things out. Mayfield's a gain of six there on first. From the 35, back to work on second and four. Brings up second and four. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. That's complete to Troutman right side. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. To throw again on second down. Mayfield will get this one underneath to Camara. 
Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And so second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Allen's got it over the middle. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got them seven. Now here's third and three. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. So we've come upon halftime in the big one, the Super Bowl. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season of football, but it's not over yet. One half remains to decide who will stand on the podium with the Vince Lombardi Trophy. And to call the second half, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first one to go. <laughs> you love pressure. You love it. see if they dial up this guy. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game. And there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it. And no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now they try the right side here. Some tough running, but it only gets him to the 45. Number 43 on the carry. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 45-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Operating from the gun. Murray. That's complete to Ward. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 43. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Greenlaw on the tackle. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. On play action, it's Murray. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Incomplete. Brings up third down and two. Third and two, and here's Murray. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. I know ultimately that feels like a good defensive play, but I know it's really not. They had a chance to keep points off the board. Now they have a chance to kick a field goal by missing that shot. Yeah, especially at this spot in the field. He's got to be upset he couldn't come up with that INT. Boy, a call like this certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. Saints will have the football back. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's
it's one thing Charles to drop a pass it's quite another to drop it on fourth down and so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs you know I've seen that you know you and I have both been to practices where we've seen hey third down situation big third down alert lock in here fourth down play make sure you focus just a little bit extra it didn't pay off in that situation and he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. 48-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Breaks a tackle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 10 yards, good for the Saints' first down. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Have him on the move on first down. On the ground, Kamara. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Allen. Mayfield's pass complete to number 84. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and four. Mayfield. They'll set up the screen now to Camaro. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. First and ten, Mayfield. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Loss of six yards. It's okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Mayfield over the middle complete. That's Allen. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him 16 yards on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. chance to scan it twice the protection was that good unfortunately for him the coverage downfield equally good on second and goal Mayfield and he's got him it's caught in the end zone touchdown New Orleans from 
from six yards away. And the Saints add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. The extra point splits the uprights, and that pushes the lead up to 11. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And 10 at their own 25-yard line. Toronto's offense ready to take over. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, which is he has absolute confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. Murray now on first down. He'll get this to Ward. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 16 more on that one and another first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Going to give this time to the tailback. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Well, if they can execute the run-pass option like that, it puts the defense in a really, really tough spot. The running ability of Kyler Murray makes defensive coordinators and players crazy because essentially now you have an extra running back there. So if he keeps it, you've got a problem. If he hands it inside, you're probably not ready for it because you have all your focus back on number one. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Now a handoff here to his running back. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. A two-yard pickup brings up third and six. Shotgun now for Murray. He may try and run for this. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. First down and goal to go. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the 10-yard line. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. Nice execution there. Good job by the old line getting him in for the second time. And you always have to start with credit there when you're having a big game. I mean, you don't get there by yourself. That's rare. But how about the ability to see the proper holes, pick the proper place to go, and find his way into the end zone? Out of the gun, here's Murray. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. He hits.
that's the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And they'll get him down inside the 30 up to 27. First and 10 at their own 27 yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's toppled the century mark already receiving the football, closing in on that on the ground, too. They've really had trouble handling him. I think from what we've seen in this game, his success through the air has started to open things up for him on the ground because now he's loosened up the defense, right? They've got to play just about every snap as if another receiver can get downfield on them, and he's been that receiver. Now they bring him back to the backfield. I think his yardage running the ball will increase this when goes on. Well, they might need to devote some extra attention to him, something just to stop the momentum he has. Looking to throw again on second down. Mayfield, and he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. They run it again with Kamara. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. Mayfield now. A throw over the middle, taken in by Troutman. Mayfield, five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Over the middle, it's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Back-to-back receptions for him, and it's another first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Here's Mayfield. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Adam Troutman, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal. Mayfield with it once more. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. From eight yards. Out. And the Saints now at six to their lead. Brandon, is there any way you and I can join this quarterback in the zone he's in? He's absolutely feeling it. Touchdown after touchdown, throwing the ball. another one through to extend the lead. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. The 
kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. He's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see it back. Just kind of have a grin on his face every time his number is called because he doesn't feel like there are going to be any lost yardage plays. Nothing but big-time positive runs. Making the sideline grin as well. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Normally we're talking about a quarterback duel where they're matching each other pass for pass. How about the footwork in this with both of these guys running the ball well? Yeah, they've mixed in the run game. You're exactly right. Now, both coaches might not like how much their quarterbacks <laughs> have taken off, but another example right there of just good mobility. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, Murray stepping up. He's going to keep it. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have him on the move on first down. From the gun, Murray. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Throwing on second and three. Murray incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. If it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try to run this one in. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great play there with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And his guys are able to make this a close game again. He's got the hat trick, three touchdowns now. Did you throw yours? Did you throw yours? I out? didn't have mine. You've got yours. You've got one of those Abe Lincoln hats. Yeah, and that stove pipe is going right out there for a nose for the end zone. Third time today. I think he deserves a tip of the cap. Now the try here for the point after. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. 32. So 
and just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Here's Carter now on the return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. down Mayfield looking left side he's got it complete and taking it across midfield and inside the 45 now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player we'll check on his status when we get back back to back good plays have him on the move on first down From the gun, Mayfield. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. now first and 15 following the delay of game throwing Mayfield Allen has it left side and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds if they didn't have that penalty a moment ago it'd be a first down still a nice 13 yard pickup ahead of the chains now second and two second and two well they'll run it here on the jet sweep and on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. First and 10 at the 15-yard line. Mayfield looks to throw, and this is complete. It's Allen. And the Saints are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. They'll run it with Kamara. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touch. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. 
And out a little across the 25 to the 27. First and 10 at their own 27-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. A loss of two yards. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Now, following the sack, they'll come up here on a second down and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Murray, oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Play fake, Murray. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Here's a throw out line complete to his running back right side. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Four yards on the pickup. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Throwing again on second down. Murray throwing the out route incomplete. It's McLaughlin. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Murray again. Guys, man, complete over the middle. That's McLaughlin. And he's going to get this inside the 30. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now a dump off here complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Over the middle completes this to Ward. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Now Murray. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Try here for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So a nice drive put together there. They go 75 yards in nine plays. Monkeys 39. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Saints' hands team able to rein this one in. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. 
How does the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here? And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. The busy night continues for Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, it's Kamara. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. And they will take a knee here. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bound. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed back to the bayou. The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. year just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports